So somebody recently asked me on one of my social media accounts, why is paint bleeding underneath my tape? And I'm gonna discuss and show you why. I've got a product right here. This is Frog Tape Orange. This is a production tape. Um, it's uh, kind of just an everyday tape that you would use you know, on um, painting. So this tape itself right here, I'm gonna put some on the wall and we're gonna paint over it and you're gonna see what happens. We're gonna be using a product right here. This is a dark blue color right here, a flat paint. Dark blue colors, any type of colors, the darker they are, the thinner they are, and they are a liquid. And a liquid will eventually bleed underneath the tape if you give it enough time and if the paint is thin enough. White paints, thicker paints, are less likely to bleed underneath your tape. But we've got a rough surface right here, and uh, paint more than likely would bleed underneath this because your tape has got to form all, all up and down all these valleys, peaks and valleys, and stick to it, adhere to it. If it doesn't, paint's eventually gonna bleed underneath it. I'm gonna show you on a rough surface like this how you can actually stop that by using just a production tape. So I'm gonna put some production tape on this wall right here. And then I'm gonna show you a method that we use uh, using caulking, uh, clear caulking, and how that actually stops paint from bleeding underneath the tape. And you're gonna see what it looks like. Then I'm gonna show you another tape right here. This is frog tape green. This is frog tape orange and production tape. Frog tape green is a more expensive tape because there's something unique about it. It has a polymer on the outside of the tape that actually swells when it comes in contact with water or any type of liquid, and water-based paints is a liquid. It swells before the paint actually bleeds underneath the tape. But I'm gonna show you what happens right here with our orange tape first. I'm gonna not caulk one of the tapes, then I'm gonna caulk one of the tapes, and you're gonna see the difference. And I assume you'll probably see a big difference. So I use a clear caulking and um, I use tower sealants. There are um, caulking, tower makes this uh, caulking called a accelerator that's specifically made so you can caulk onto a surface and then you can paint over it immediately. You don't have to wait for it to dry. We, I use a uh, tower, this is Tower Tech 2. This is a little bit different than a accelerator. It does say you have to uh, wait for the caulking to dry, but we've been using this method for I would say about 20 years and it's we've never had an issue with it as long as we're using any type of paint that has a sheen to it. If you're using a flat paint, the paint might crack a little bit, but um, Tower, Tower Tech 2, clear caulking, it's really thin. We're just gonna be leaving a really, really thin bead of caulking down and wiping it off. So what this actually does, I'm gonna take and wipe this off, and I'm actually trying to wipe all the caulking off and not leave any behind. And this is actually sealing the edge of that tape. So that's right there. That one's sealed both sides, the other one's not sealed. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when I paint that surface. We'll pull the tape off and see what it looks like. Caulk and uncaulk. So there's not caulked right there. Obviously you can see paint because we got all these peaks and valleys. Paint bled underneath that tape all over the place. Now peel off this frog tape right here. Now you can see the difference in why we actually use caulking. You got a little bit of bleeding right there because I didn't get some caulking right there or at the top. And you can see this side right here, a laser shape, laser sharp line using caulking. So your, your paint bleeds underneath your tape because it's a liquid. It's finding peaks or valleys to actually seep underneath the tape and that's um, the result. So caulk your tape whenever you got rough surfaces and you'll get laser straight lines. Now on any type of smooth surface, if you have a smooth surface, um, like smooth walls, anything like glass, tile, frog tape green, this tape right here, you don't actually need to caulk your tape. The polymer on this tape will work 
and without actually caulking it. I'll try it on this wall right here and we'll see on the result without caulking it using frog tape green and see how well it performs. On a wall this rough, I wouldn't expect it to you know, seal 100%, but we'll give it a try. If you make sure you press down on that, there we go, the tape is on. See how well frog tape grain performs on this wall here. So without any, without any, um, any caulking at all, you can see it got some really straight lines where I actually pushed down on it, nice and tight. I missed the spot right there where I was um, didn't push down, but that's a pretty laser straight line right there, just frog tape and no caulking, frog tape green. So now I'm gonna take, put some frog tape green on the wall and we'll just caulk our frog tape green and you can see the results. So there's a little bit of bleeding. I mean, this is a really rough wall, so I wouldn't expect you know, um, frog tape green to 100% seal that. I gotta say, that's pretty amazing on a rough wall like this. But now I take frog tape green and then I just take a little bit of clear caulking. Put a little bit of clear caulking on here. And this is the method we use anytime we want you know, stripes on walls, we want, we're trying to split a rounded corner. Um, anytime you're wanting a laser straight line, you can just, oh, I'm gonna actually paint it first, caulk it. Now, I know there's other methods out there. You can actually just pre-wet it. Your tape with a rag, um, pre-wetting it with water is actually um, pre-swelling that that polymer on the tape and that will seal the tape. It's not as effective as using caulking. And then there's also um, a method of actually painting the same color. If I've painted white, because I wanted white, paint white over the tape, let the white dry, and then paint my dark color over the top of that. That white bleeds underneath and it's the color that I want it to be, so it pre-seals the tape. And then, um, and then you paint over the top of that. But the downfall to that method is you can't paint right away. So this method, I can caulk it and I can paint right away because I can't paint right away with the other method because you have to wait for the white paint to dry. So I know um, there are some painters out there that have explained that on you know, some of my social media accounts. And that's how I used to um, paint and try to get laser straight lines before I discovered this method right here. So I'll pull it off. And there is a laser straight line. So now I'm, I'm comparing this with the orange and the frog tape green. If you're really particular about your lines, the frog tape green even had a straighter line than the frog tape orange, even though that even though that was pretty dang good. That's a production tape. This is a um, premium tape with a polymer on the outside. And so that's a little bit of why your paint is bleeding underneath your tape and how to resolve that. So I'm gonna show you the, the final method you know, how, um, what it actually looks like. And this is the method I used to use, I don't know, about 20 years ago when um, it came to getting straight lines and it was painting the color that's underneath the tape over the top of the tape and it'll bleed underneath the tape and seal those edges. And then you go over the top of it with whatever color you're going to and then pull your tape and you get a straight line. What that looks like, I'm gonna take 
you know, my tank, you know, mask on the wall. And then underneath it is the white color. That's the color I want to stay. Then I'm going to just take, you know, roll over the top of that white. And that's going to seal the edge if the paint is thick enough. And, you know, this method, you know, is typically going to turn out and have, you know, a few spots bleeding and stuff. Because if your peaks and valleys, you know, are too high for the paint to actually seal it, there's more viscosity to your caulking. It's a lot thicker. It's going to seal larger gaps. Now, I have to wait for this to dry in order to paint my other color over the top of it for obvious reasons, because we don't want to mix the two colors together. The other methods, you put your caulking on and you actually apply your caulking before, or you apply your paint before the caulking dries. And then before the caulking and the paint dries, you pull your tape and you'll have this laser straight line. This method right here, when you um, apply your white paint, you're having paint that's bridging over the top of your tape to your wall, that dries and you put your other tape over the top of it. When you pull your tape, you could get peeling, what we call bridging or shark's teeth, and it'll peel from your tape to the wall, and it'll peel it right off the wall or whatever surface you're painting on. This method, you can have the same thing, but that's why we always pull our tape before the caulking dries and before the paint dries so you don't get any of that bridging because the caulking will bridge, and the paint will bridge. So you don't want your caulking to dry, nor do you want your paint to dry. So I got on my last tape line right there, and we've painted the white on. It's been you know probably 30 minutes, um, maybe 30, 45 minutes, and I'm gonna paint over it. You can already see uh, the tape is lifted up on some of the edges. So this method is um, you know never as foolproof as caulking green frog tape, but we'll just look and see how it is. Out. See, not too bad. I mean, I did, I painted it all the way down, but it bled pretty bad on the bottom, but fairly straight and stuff. But you can see why if you really needed a perfectly straight line, you know, painting the other color over the top, you know, is not as great of a method as doing the um, frog tape method. I did this method for years and years. Just gotta be very particular about pressing your tape down, you know, really good and tight before you paint over the top of it with your underlying color. Now, I'll give you, you know, kind of one last tip, you know, if you don't have access to caulking, if you don't want to use caulking, if that's a little intimidating to you, if you don't want to use this method, um, just use frog tape green. And if you're really particular about pressing your tape down with your fingers, the pads of your fingers, I'm going to press that down really good, really tight. It's going to mold to those peaks and valleys there's a good chance if you're using frog tape green or frog tape blue. Frog tape blue and frog tape yellow also um, have the same polymer on the outside of the tape. Frog tape yellow is for delicate surfaces. Frog tape blue is the same as a green, but it comes in multi-packs, so it's cheaper because you you're not buying it individually. Now I'll show you, if you're really particular about pressing and using your fingers to press, What's what this will look like? Peel this off here. Let's let frog tape do the magic. So you see, I was pretty particular. I had some bleeding spots right there. That's pretty dang impressive for frog tape without any caulking right there. But you know, if I had to have this laser straight line, I'm gonna have to fix that right there, and that's gonna take me you know, a little bit of time to fix um, those couple spots versus, you know, something like that that's laser, laser sharp. So there you have it, some tips, tricks, you know, why um, paint is actually bleeding underneath your tape and how to resolve it using frog tape or caulking over your tape. <laughs>